Hi, good evening. This is Patrick from Plymouth Charter School. And um, periodically, we'll be putting together a couple of quick tip videos of things that you can utilize at home to kind of help things move along when it comes to distance learning or even our hybrid of distance learning and on-site um, attendance. So here tonight or this evening, we're going to talk about iReady. And iReady is our uh, diagnostic tool that we use to uh, get a baseline assessment of where students are when they come back to school after the summer. We also will test them at the end of the year just to see different uh, levels of change. Uh, but with iReady is an instruction component where once they complete their diagnostic, it's adapted to their uh, learning proficiency and different lessons are automatically teed up for them so they can um, continue along the subjects of reading and math for some extra help. So that's definitely something that they can always do when they're not here at school or if you're just doing a distance learning model completely, uh, it's a great way to utilize the platform to develop some extra skills. So logging in is pretty simple. Just in the search bar up here, we've typed in iReady login, and um, we'll go ahead and search. And there we go. Now I'm gonna use my son's, um, my son's login today. Uh, that way it'll make it a little bit easier for you to kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like um, for a student. And login information was hopefully communicated uh, by your grade level teacher at this point. So username and password and then state California and then we'll go ahead and log in. So this is what my son's dashboard looks like. Uh, the theme he chose himself so he's got a thing for uh, cats and lightning bolts but that's all right. Um, so two subjects, reading and math over here. Reading looks a little bit like this. You can see that he's finished his reading diagnostic, so automatically he's got a couple of lessons that he needs to do. Both of them are in comprehension, and that's tailored to him based off of how he did on that assessment. So your son or daughters might look a little bit different. For more information on iReady, you can always go right here. This link will show a little bit, a little video that describes the benefits of iReady. You can also access other information right up here in the Family Center. So down here, he's got like a to-do list, his progress, and some other stuff. That's where you know he can pick his different themes. So we'll go back over here um, and up to the Math tab. Now, Ready Math, not to be confused with iReady, but that's the um, the textbook that we're using this year for math. It's made by the same curriculum developers that have made iReady, and you can see that the toolbar down here looks a little bit different. So right here, we have a bookshelf. The textbook for Ready Math is right here. So all of the students have a hard copy textbook, but for instance, if uh, a textbook is left behind um, at school or somewhere else, and you know that you have some assignments, you can always come here to get the assignments electronically. So we'll click on the book. Here are the different units. So, for instance, if I knew that um, Morgan had a, um, an assignment in Lesson 2, I could go right here and then start scrolling through um, the different assignment pages and get a, get a good idea of what it was. And I could print this out at home. There's some tools up here, like a calculator, um, and then there's also some text-to-speech functionality if that's something that your uh, student would like to use. Of course, there are some failure resources up here, and this is helpful too. Too So for lesson two of unit one, if I was curious about a, a good way to help uh, instruct this at home, then I've also got these handouts right here um, that they've included to kind of help me along at home. So again, just trying to give you a little idea of how the new system works. Um, I hope you're able to uh, benefit from something here. And of course, if you ever have questions, don't hesitate to contact us here at the school, uh, either a graded level teacher, or of course, I'm always available uh, and would be happy to help. So we'll be continuing to make other videos like this to help navigate some of these online components. I know it can be tricky, but once everybody gets a hang of it, um, you know, can't promise smooth sailing, but it'll definitely help. All right, thank you very much and have a great night.